Well, 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 hello everybody, what's in the whole universe, I hope everything is fine, and I'm a resident who brings value to my own experiences, and today I'm gonna talk about the exaggerated emotions, and about emotions in total, and about my attention to emotion, and also my uh, relation to emotions, and my fears sometimes to show emotions to people, in a mini, not like an angriness, but in a mini, like, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm crazy a bit, like this one. Way. And uh, let's talk about this thing. My grandmother will be so soon at my home. She is in Sochi. She was in Sochi in a long period of time. Not a long, like two weeks. She was in a Sochi. It was good. She was on her vacation. And I felt really like free to express my emotions, to do whatever I want and to, to, to be like free to express myself uh, during me recording the video. Because sometimes she is at home and I feel kind of I pick your noises and maybe I do a little bit of maybe I'm super musician really maybe I'm super musician and I trying to to go to the tonality of the sound that she made like I want to make music in the sounds that I hear the same with my neighbors that are on the upper side the same was in in, in St. Petersburg when I heard every noise and not a noise but uh, we consider it is as a noise but uh, we know that it is a pitch specific uh, like frequencies of waves and we can say that it is a note note or a part of the note on our piano because uh, specific or or a guitar or ukulele or something and i noticed when i hear noises then i feel kind of not comfortable but i noticed one interesting thing that i'm sometimes uh, i'm not scared i i don't dance near the window when uh, i see when i know that my my uh, grandmother inside and my sister is here too i don't know why while i'm like alone while uh, nobody is watching at me i feel free really and uh, the same in, on the streets it is only working for a people or a chance that somebody who i know and somebody who is near me will watch me and i think that need to overcome it and need to program myself uh, it is uh, neuro linguistics programming and uh, cognitive programming and cognitive linguistics that uh, need to believe in yourself and show that you can do this because nothing will be kind of bad if they will see because they don't say to me bad words like don't do this don't do this it was in my previous experience when i lived with another another i don't know how to call it family or something not family like family members but my maybe blood ones yes like father line and i remember that it was like don't do this don't do this and sometimes uh, do this way not this way and uh, it was maybe because of it maybe it is kind of i'm again kind of doing because of these voices inside of my my head inside of the this box of parrots, parrots as a bird, and maybe because of it, and I need to overcome it, how to overcome it, need to do this mostly, and sometimes I even scared to listen to some types of music, I listen to pop punk music it is good and it is already i can say that it is not like a super classical also i listen to classical music but i don't listen to musical music because maybe it was forbidden in my family previous experiences and because of it we divorced and uh, some pre-story we divorced and we went out uh, out our our uh, my, my father and uh, after maybe because of this experience i'm scared to put uh, some musical songs that i know that they are familiar with the songs maybe because of it maybe i'm scared of a kind of crush it is one of the guesses maybe i'm scared to crush their their values like you know when i when we speak about something that people are familiar with we are scared to show it because maybe it it will be for them uh, yes i think that yes 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 because of it uh, i i i will i will say one thing 
do you know maybe your friend and he is a fan of uh, of Harry Potter maybe okay it will be this type of story he is maybe a Harry Potter fan and you know when you speak about Harry Potter you maybe can hurt his feelings because he knows about it a lot and some non correct word and they will not accept me but i understand that they will accept everything that i do because uh, we talked about it and also i'm 23 years old jesus christ it is uh, i don't want to say that i'm like an old man but i'm super wi wise i can say because i know many different things and i created videos about it and how i talked about it and i can teach about the stuff if uh, it is neat i don't like a word teach maybe but i can do pedagogical research uh, like pedagogical courses or something uh, okay you had this lecture lectures i can do lections and uh, why am i scared of it i don't think that i will hurt their feeling it is uh, another way i will maybe bring to them joy because i will listen to the music they they like and it will be kind of fun maybe i'm scared of like uh, because sometimes they say to me you know when you do push-ups, for example, at home, I remember when uh, somebody is uh, going near my room and, oh, you're doing push-ups or something. But it is not a kind of they are offensive to me. They tried to like, yes, it is a fact that you are doing push-ups. Maybe it is a good thing. And uh, I don't know uh, if, okay, let's be, let's be parents right now. I imagine as I am an, I am a parent. Uh, how could I do this? I could do this in a way of, oh, you're doing push-ups? Uh, I will do this with you. I can do this with you. And uh, I will start doing it and uh, it is kind of supporting. And uh, when somebody is saying that, oh, you are doing push-ups, it means sometimes uh, two things. Uh, it is good or maybe not good or maybe it is natural. It is third part side <laughs> or maybe another variations of it, but it is inside of it, like different types of emotions. Maybe because of it and need to apply that uh, it's okay. And even if, uh, okay, I'm doing push-ups and uh, I'm doing something, why am I not scared on on the streets? I I'm really freely to I freely do things on the streets. I jump sometimes in a way this way and also I do really like not a crazy. I don't want to call this crazy. It is a genius happiness. Happiness of genius or something. The same I sometimes don't speak things uh, during our recording. One thing that uh, my uh, my grandmother said to me previously, it was kind of no need to say, n no, she doesn't say, like don't need to say about politics and about things. She kind of uh, did a kind of I don't know how to how to call it in the meaning like uh, maybe you are speaking about politics there and I don't know about it and uh, like uh, it it was kind of maybe it is not a good thing to speak about politics and that's why I don't speak about politics and uh, I I don't speak about it in total fully and in the meaning like in Russian version in the meaning of uh, naming some names because you know that if you say some names it will be kind of in in russia maybe <laughs> not really nice that's why sometimes if i say names i use kind of put out and different variations of it put out put inside of something put in and uh, <laughs> like this i i use you you know and uh, <laughs> and uh, okay I, I don't say about it uh, and talk about uh, why am I scared to dance? Should I speak about it with them? I, s I have spoken before about it. Okay, I need to change myself. Uh, yes, it's okay that I'm dancing. It's okay that I do things. It's okay that I play music the way I want, not the way that they maybe might be proud of me because i try to kind of do things that maybe they will be proud of me but i understand that i can do right now practice as a god like not a god uh, in the meaning like jesus christ i'm a god here and uh, in a in a meaning of uh, like crazy things but to practice my technique technique because sometimes need to do so fast to then back 
to step back and to do slowly and do slowly in a correct way and uh, good like need to make something with your neurons because you are going to the same circle and need sometimes to go it faster to make like oh jesus christ my mind is kind of reshapy and uh, then you can do this better okay i agree let's uh, let's do this and i think that on this channel right now need to do a little bit of checking progress milestones about it because if i will overcome it then everything's fine because i'm not scared like of them I already sometimes record videos uh, while they are at home, like grandmother, mother and stepfather and uh, sister. I record with them. Yes, it is a recording <laughs> not really nice because sometimes I hear their voices and it is kind of hard to me to speak. But I will be trained. I will be trained. Need to maybe need to be okay with that I hear noises and need to produce sounds. Maybe I a lot listen to myself, to my voice, and I try to hear it always. Maybe because I want to lead or something, like here's a leading voice. I don't know. Maybe because uh, sometimes when I play, I like to hear notes. When I play two hands, I want to listen every part of them and I want to focus. It is focusing. I think that it is about. And when I hear something else, I don't focus a lot. And sometimes I go to the different pitches or, or I go louder too. So everything will be fine. Everything will be good. And uh, we are brave. We are ourselves. I am uh, who I am, you are who you are, and going forward. Thank you a lot for watching, you see you next time, in personal daily, go forward, and you know that everything in your life depends only on you. And say, please, in the comment section below, sometimes, yes, it is good, yes, it is good. I wanted to ask, like, this, is it good that I speak sometimes with uh, not super a lot of exaggerated emotions? I mean exaggerated because I have a habit on my Russian channel. Sometimes I speak with exaggerated emotions in a way of I like it. I like it by my own. I like it by my own. But sometimes when you don't have super a lot of energy in a meaning of like your voice, a little bit of uh, going soaring and uh, you don't do a kind of dancing uh, every moment of your life. And uh, sometimes... Uh, I speak slowly and with not super different types of pitches. Is it good? I think that yes, it is normal speech. Because in, in Russian language, uh, why I do this? Because uh, we have a lot of children on my channel, 10 to 14 years old. They are generation of TikTok. And uh, you know what this stuff is all about. And uh, I don't, I'm not saying that TikTok is kind of, oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is uh, going on? I'm saying that uh, life is changing and we should be like accepting that, uh, yes, some changes go are going. And uh, then, okay, we are going next. We are going to the next level. It is technology. Technology is always going fast. If uh, we will be like, oh, Jesus Christ, what a wheel, what, what the hell is this wheel, no need to use wheel, then we will go to Stone Age, yes, and uh, need to be like, okay, it's good, it's good to go to TikTok, to go to the shorts, YouTube shorts, because uh, it's a new era, by the way, con of content creating, because Instagram went to Instagram Reels, also the senior or someone who is on CEO, SEO, said that uh, Instagram right now is not a photo, primarily. It is for uh, something else, for video. I, I don't remember it fully, like his text, but he said kind of it is for another types of content. It's for a huge amount of content for video too. And uh, Instagram Reels, also TikTok we have, and uh, YouTube Shorts. Vertical is going forward. I understand why, because phones are everywhere and uh, mostly, majority of people right now watch all the contents from the phone. It's okay. Okay, so be attentive, be brave, be good and uh, share positive things. See you next time. See you. Bye-bye.